Near the end of April, the integration between the core node and ledger components of Cardano's mainnet and the smart contract components that have been under development should be ready to go and there will be a private testnet. And then in late April or early May, a public testnet will launch and testing will continue there until likely the June timeframe, at which point external exchanges, wallet providers, and other peripherals will have time to upgrade their infrastructure to support Gogan's final launch during the Alonzo hard fork. All of this suffices to say that while the updates will be more or less ready to go by the end of May, it may take until August to get this in the hands of the public on mainnet. Now I can already imagine the frustration amongst Cardano fans at the timeline because people tend to want things immediately. And of course, the hate from other parties is only going to make that worse. However, let me give my take as someone who has worked in tech, specifically in blockchain and software for the past five years. And I will say this, these protocols are extremely tricky to build. Programming languages are tough to build, even when you're building from an existing framework. And what's worse is you have unpredictable users and external effects in blockchain that you don't have in centralized software. Long testnet periods are absolutely critical for catching showstopper issues before mainnet with relatively real users. Now, if you rush these updates to mainnet and a showstopper bug is found then, you could have a full-scale meltdown of Cardano and all of this work is for nothing because trust could be shaken in the network if something like that happens. A public testnet means that startups like Cardano Kids or Liquid Finance or other startups we talked about the last couple of weeks can build their smart contracts and test them so they're ready on day one of mainnet launch. And this will of course be great. And I also want to say, you know, I'm an Ethereum fan. People know that. And my career has been predicated on Ethereum's technology in many ways. I've built mostly Solidity smart contracts in my career. But before Ethereum fanboys start running their mouths on this topic and saying how Cardano is terrible, remember Ethereum's short-term boon for congestion on their blockchain in the form of the Layer 2 Optimism protocol is delayed, which proves that good software takes time. You've got one shot to get it right. And done right is better than just done. So everyone's trying to build the best things they can. And I respect all all parties for doing so. I support Cardano and Ethereum together and I urge others to adopt this same mentality.